Hey there, what's going on? Rich DeMuro here in San Jose. We just got out of WWDC. This is Apple's big developers event. This is the best part of it, the hands-on room where we get to see all of the cool stuff that they just announced. And I think one of the neat things is iOS 11, because this is going to affect your iPhone, but I have it running here on the brand new iPad. This is their new um, iPad Pro 10.5, which if you notice, the uh, bezel is a lot thinner than before, so the screen's a little bit bigger. Uh, anyway, I want to show you iOS 11, because there's a bunch of new features. So the first thing you notice at the bottom here, what is that? Well, that's your new dock. So um, when you're inside an app and you want to do something else, you just swipe up and you can get to another app really fast. Um, or if you want to go side by side with a couple of apps, as you see I have here. So I've got my mail there and I've got a photo here. Let's say I just want to drop a photo into this email. I can just reply and watch this. Drag and drop. Boom. That's something that you really couldn't do on the iPad before. It's a cool new system. Um, and there you have it. So that's one of the new features in iOS 11. Take a look at this. This is something we've never seen on an iPhone or an iPad. This new Files app. So this is an app that lets you see all the files that you have stored on your device. And the neat thing is that not only does it work with iCloud, but they've also integrated other third-party services. So if you use Box, if you use Dropbox, if you use Google Drive, you can access your files all from the cloud on there as well. And watch this. Let's say I want to do a drag and drop into my email that I had from before. I can do that. Let's see here. Let me bring this back uh, over here. And so let's say I wanted to get this file. This is coming directly from my cloud account. Boom. Drag and drop right into there. That's really cool. Okay, so uh, they're also redesigning the App Store. So this is going to happen across your iPhone and your iPad. So take a look at the brand new App Store in iOS 11. So the first thing you notice here is, look at this, it's a new tile design. So it's big, it's bold, it's uh, a lot of stuff to see and a lot more real estate to apps so you can easily find uh, something that's featured. And they also have these little daily lists every day. This is uh, the 15 inspired indie games. So these are all little indie games that you can order. And uh, you tap that, you get them. Let's see if I can get this. This, and I don't have my password, so we're not going to do that. But uh, yeah, the App Store getting a totally new redesign, so that's going to take some getting used to. There's the games, there's uh, your apps, and let's see what updates looks like. That looks kind of the same, right? Okay, this is something that I really like because uh, I'm always scanning documents, so inside the Notes app, now, you can actually scan a document. They have built in a document scanner, so let's say uh, I make a new document here, a new note, and I press this little plus sign here and I have my receipt from my flight today and all I have to do if you can see that is kind of hover over my receipt it automatically recognize it it's having a little trouble right now because of the uh, the shadows but there we go and I think it may lock onto it eventually but right now um, with this lighting it's kind of a challenge so I'm just gonna snap it and you see it automatically takes the picture I can adjust the corners if I'm a real neat freak I can get rid of that little rip there and now I say use scan and there's my scan and that's cool. Now, of course, if you want to be really cool with it too, you can do things like this. If you have a uh, Apple pencil, and let's say you know you're saying to your boss that uh, yes, I love my peanut butter bar that costs $3.99. And wow, I'm just looking at my receipt here. I can't believe these snacks I bought cost seven bucks. Hopefully that gets approved. All right, so I think that's really neat. Let me show you one more trick with the Apple pencil while I have it here. So if you have your iPad uh, locked, all you have to do is uh, tap your Apple pencil to your iPad uh, lock screen and look at that, it automatically brings up notes so that you can immediately start taking notes. And what I love about taking notes on here is check out how easy this is. I'm, I'm putting my hand on the screen and as you can see it's not registering that at all, which is really cool. So if you really want to use this as a notepad, you can. And don't look at my writing because it is absolutely horrible. One more cool thing that this does, and I don't know if it's going to do it right here because my writing is so bad, but you can, Siri is going to look through your notes and kind of catalog things even that are written in your handwriting, and then you can swipe down here 
and search for them. I don't think this is going to work. It didn't. But wow, look at that. Demiro's Pizza. Um, but wait, I think it did work. I think that did work. Yep, it did work. So if you saw that, Siri was able to see that I spelled out D-E uh, for my last name. So she's actually cataloging everything, even when you're doing it in handwriting, which is really cool for searching later on. Okay, uh, let me think if I have anything else here that I need to uh, do. Uh, let's see, music. Oh, messages, real quick. You can now pay people in your messages. So uh, this person just sent, hey, send me $75 when you have a chance. Um, and look at that. Did you see that? Down here. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me do that again. So you see down here, there will be an option to pay. And I don't see it just yet. I don't see it just yet. But you will be able to have a little option down here to pay her. And it'll go right through Apple Pay, which is going to be very handy for paying your friends back. Uh, let's see. Did I get everything? I think I did. Uh, let's see. We got the notes. We got that. We got photos. Um, oh, yeah. One more thing that's kind of interesting. This is going to affect you on both uh, iPad and, of course, your iPhone. Check out the new control center when you swipe up. Totally redesigned. Boom. Right there. So that's what it looks like. You want to adjust certain things really fast, like your uh, contrast or brightness or, well, I guess brightness, uh, volume. You can do that. We've got some, let's see, is there anything new here? Uh, up here, I think this one's new. Uh, there you have that. And you've got your home kit there as well. So, and again, you can get rid of that there. So, which one? What do you mean? Oh, like force touch? Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. Leave it to my photographer, Steven, to know more about this stuff than I do. So, yes, you can force touch some of these controls here on the uh, screen. And now you have everything you need. So, you got cellular data on or off, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, personal hotspot, and airplane mode. So, um, yeah, you got a bunch of different things you can do. Can we do more there? Oh, it just makes it bigger. Oh, night shift. Wow, there is a lot of stuff. So, night shift is in there, true tone. So, kudos to Steven for uh, knowing about this stuff. All right there you have it uh, kind of a first look at iOS 11 coming out uh, later this year as a free update for um, your iPhone and of course your iPad so looking forward to some of the neat things you can do with it uh, hopefully you enjoyed this if you did share it with your friends and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next time